Breaking tonight, hundreds, maybe thousands gathered in front of Baltimore City Hall as the six cops charged in the death of Freddie Gray are now out on bail. Combined, they face 28 charges, ranging from one count of second-degree murder for the van driver to three counts of involuntary manslaughter and to in assault and misconduct in office. But can the state's attorney make her case? Mark Iglarsh is a former prosecutor, now defense attorney. Brian Claypool is a civil rights attorney. Brian, let me start with you on that testimonial we just heard from that Baltimore police officer, which starkly contrasts from what we heard from the state's attorney today. Well, Megan, I've, I've dealt with a lot of these cases out here in California. And what I call Mike's uh, testimony tonight is the Houdini defense for the police department. In other words, a Freddie Gray is, is detained, he's perfectly fine, we throw him in the van, after the first stop, he's okay, the second stop, he's still chit-chatting, and then gee whiz, all of a sudden, we get to the police station, and he's dead, he's not breathing. Mm -hmm. We didn't do anything wrong. That's going to be their defense in this case, Megan, but I'll tell you where there's going to be a problem. In this case, it's almost like that deduction we learned in law school, where you go to bed, the streets are dry, you wake up in the morning, the streets are wet. What does that mean? It rained. Here, Freddie, Freddie Gray was perfectly healthy, Megan, before the police officers detained him. And I don't think a jury is going to believe that this happened in the van okay, I get because that. he had three severed vertebrae. I get that. And I think everything he just said, Mark, makes perfect sense. I mean, it, it makes sense. Something, something happened. Why, how did he wind up dead? Yes. But how did they get to, in, in particular, second degree murder, that, that there was an intention and intentional, right. that that cop acted intentionally to cause his death. See, Megan, I share the concern there. Let's say the jurors say what you guys did was negligent. You should have buckled them in. You shouldn't have treated them that way. You, it's negligent. Well, that gets you money damages in civil court. What's needed for the manslaughter is culpable negligence, gross negligence. That now moves up the ladder of culpability. But then what's required for second degree murder is a willful and one disregard of human life. I thought for sure when I heard the driver was charged, they must have evidence that the guy took sharp corners and and said, oh, we're going to get this guy, or they somehow use force against him, that was absent. So I don't think this is a slam dunk, as many have alleged. And, and moreover, the charges, the manslaughter charges against the people who were present seem to be based, Brian, on the fact that they're claiming that, that Freddie Gray was asking for medical help and none was provided. That's something the officers are going to deny. Her information has got to come from the cops, does it not? How would she know this if it were not from the cops? Well, well, Megan, it, it, wh whether these police officers believe that Freddie needed medical help is not a subjective standard in the, in the criminal trial. It's going to be a reasonable person, a reasonable officer standard. And I think that you're going to get jurors out there that simply aren't going to believe, Megan, the fact that how can Freddie be thrown into this van and, and, and by the way, he's screaming in that, uh, in that video. Well, they, they say, it wasn't, sudden, they wait, say wait, it wasn't unusual. They say that's not unusual for Freddie. And they say a lot of defendants do that to try to get the cops to back but, off. Yeah. Megan, I've been on numerous well, ride-alongs. Well, these guys, ahead, Mark, these guys constantly, I've seen myself when I was a prosecutor, I've been on many ride-alongs. A lot of these guys will say, oh, I need help. Right. You hurt me. There's some I've drama. seen them bang their own heads there. against. We're going to carry this over All that. right after the so break. So after a while. Don't go away. Yeah. And we're back now with our legal panel. Mark, is this a show trial? As Alan Dershowitz alleged today, he said there's no way they'll get a conviction here. Well, I, I wouldn't say no way they're not going to get a conviction. I mean, look at the climate. I think they're going to need metal detectors to make sure that people aren't bringing pitchforks into jury duty with the climate there. But one thing that concerns me the most is they. The police department is not on trial. Each individual defendant is, and we've got to find out what each person did or didn't do. Brian, the prosecutor, the DA is already coming under fire for saying too much today when she laid out her case. Did she reveal too much? Oh, I don't think so, Megan. I think she had to lay out that, that not only the, the, the charges against the officers, but the basis for those charges. And if I might add, Megan, in second degree depraved murder in Maryland, it doesn't require intent. It requires the officer to act in conscious disregard, and he did that. Mm. We'll continue to follow uh, it. Thank you I don't both. Know about that. Thank